Hi there you guys! This video is a little bit different than usual because here I'm going to show you how I'm making this beautiful pendant out of a Rivoli 10 mm Rivoli crystal and uh, smaller crystals around. This video is sponsored by Bidding School by Erika Sandor. They were so kind to send me all of those materials and they're a constant inspiration for me with their videos and tutorials. Uh, so you could check links down there in description to their website and where you could buy those beautiful beads from and I have an un unboxing video with all of those beads and even more in their forest collection. It is here at the I icon if you want to check it out. Okay guys, but before I start, I just want to tell you what you will get if you decide to buy from the website of Beading School by Erika Sandor. You will get 10% discount code BIJUTEO for items that are not on sale. It is valid until the end of September, but don't worry, later I will give you more and more discount codes, so stay with me. And you will get worldwide shipping for free above 75 euros. The bead boxes full of treasured in different color variations are now discounted from 75 to 52 euros. And you should know that uh, if you decide to buy them separately, you will give even more than 75 euro. That is why it's a good offer now. And you could expect new tutorials on my channel using the beads from the forest collection and these tutorials could be applied to all the other collections if you prefer different color combinations. So stay with me with this. So if you like what I'm showing you here, it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will be notified when I release absolutely free new videos for beading inspiration and uh, you could also like share and comment i do not know how much of a support this is if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook or on my instagram page that you will find also down there and another announcement is that i have a second channel where i post in just two three minutes previews of all of my videos so you could watch short clip of this video down there in description and if you like it subscribe for my second channel for constant inspiration thank you so much for watching now i will start with the list of the materials okay guys and as i told you in this video i'm using beads that my friends for beading school by erica sandor sent me they sent me this beautiful 11 0 and 15 0 delica beads and they sent me the forest collection and there is this emerald 10 millimeter rivoli here it is see how beautiful it is and i'm going to bezel it you will see what i mean later and here are these three millimeter bicons that they also sent me with the forest collection and uh, as i told you you could see the unboxing video of this collection here at the eye icon and i use 14 of those beautiful three millimeter bicons for this project and for my own stash i use only 15 o seed beads in black color and i use a really small amount of them and this is a bale uh, this is Monofilament that is 0.006 inches to so 0.15 millimeters. You could use fire line or whatever thread you like. This is size 10 beading needle, scissors and pliers. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Guys, and what I'm going to do now is pick up 28 of these beautiful silver beads. Okay guys, now I have my 28 beads here on my needle and I'm going to slide those down. Okay, now what I want to do here is go through all of those beads in this direction holding my tail thread. Okay. 
Okay, and now my main thread and here my tail thread meet and here is the place where I want to make a knot and I'm making my knot by making here a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull just like this and now I have this beautiful circle of beads here and I go through some beads in this direction and now guys I have this and I'm going to start my next row and in my next row I pick up a golden bead I go I skip one bead and go through the following this is called peyote stitch okay or also mosaic stitch you could call it okay one more golden bead and I skip this bead and go through the following okay I take one more go here through the following bead skipping one and I will show you one more time skip the next one and go through the following and I'm going to do this guys until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last bead from this row just like that and I pull now what I want to do is go here through one of my yellow beads in this newly added row and I need a silver a golden and a silver okay this is what I have and I will go back here in circle through this golden just like this then in my step next step I go through this silver just like this and I take a golden and a silver this time I take only two beads because these two are already there of my cross of four that I want to make okay and I go back just like this I have another cross of four but uh, they, these two crosses share one bead and I use one bead from the inner ring if, is, if this explanation is difficult for you just follow those steps and everything will be okay okay and now I'm going through this silver again and I want to go also through this golden here okay now I have this and here I want to take a silver and a golden okay like this and I go back here through these two beads making here a cross then again I go through this silver just like this and I take a golden and a silver and I go back through these two beads forming a cross of four also called right angle weave okay now I have this and I'm going through the following two beads exiting out of the silver that's here at the end then I go through the golden so I'm going through two beads of the cross of four that I want to make and now I'm going to take a silver and a golden and what I do is that I go back here like this forming a cross of four and then I go through the following silver okay guys and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row if you forgot how I'm doing this just rewind this video and repeat these steps from here and everything will be okay pause this video do this and I'll meet you here 
Okay guys, and when you continue doing this, you see your work will start bending. I forgot to tell you this and don't worry that at this stage it looks like this. We'll fix it later. Okay, and here I am at my last step. I just made this cross and I need to make here the last cross of four beads. Okay, I'm exiting out of this golden and as always I'm going to go through this silver in this direction. This time guys, here I won't add a, uh, a golden and a silver but I will add only a golden because this silver is here from the very first element that I did okay and I'm directly going through it so when I close this work you see I have this and now guys what I do is that I go one more time through this silver here forming the last cross of four beads you see here it is and uh, everything moved to the center okay you see what I have and now in my next step I will go in this inner row through this golden and I'm going to take my Rivoli here and I will need to uh, make it stay here in the center. Maybe not at this stage, but at the following stage. But now I will put it here just to show you what I'm doing. Now I'm taking the 15 oz that I told you I have from my own stash. But you could order them also from Erika Sandor's Bidding School website. Maybe not in black color, but there are other beautiful colors with 15 O's. Okay, and I'm going here between those golden beads, just like this. Okay. And I will remove the Rivoli for now. But this will be the inner edge that will surround this Rivoli. And I will continue this guys until the end of this row. Just going around those beads and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys and here I am where I'm adding my last beads from this row. And what you additionally could do is go reinforce all of those beads in this row. Just make a full circle of reinforcement. Okay. If you feel it's loose. Okay, and after you feel everything is nice and tight, you could go in this direction and go at the back of your work here. Here at the back and you could continue with the peyote stitch. Here you see I have one bit that's sticking out and one bit that's more like in the inner side and here I'm going to take one golden after I go out of one of my beads that are sticking out you see and I'm taking one golden and go I'm going through the following that's sticking out and I pull take one more golden go here through the following that's sticking out it is the same peyote stitch that i did from the other side of this first row of 28 beads okay then i take one golden go through the sticky outy and guys i will continue doing this until the end of this row it's really pleasant and easy row 
I'm sure you will be able to do this by yourself and I will be back in a while. Okay, and I'm here guys almost at my last step of this row. You see how those beads pop up, stick out. Okay, now I'm going to take the last one and I'm going through the last silver. And now guys, my casing is at this stage where I need to add my Rivoli in the center because I want to be closing the back side of my work. I want to be decreasing the number of beads that I'm adding in order to close it, okay? So that is why I need to add the Rivoli at this stage. And it will be easier for me because it will uh, make my work easier and not bend so much, okay? So now guys, what I do here is that I go through this golden bead and I will take one silver. This is at the inner edge of my work, okay? And I'm putting here one silver. And now pay attention for my next step. This is how I decrease. I go directly through this golden without adding anything here. Okay, then I take one silver and I go through the following yellow and then through the following. I connect those two goldens together. Okay, sometimes it moves around at this stage. Then I take one silver, go here, and I directly go through the golden without adding anything. A silver. and directly go through the next golden. Okay guys, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and now I'm here at my last step and I'm adding one and going through two beads and here you see I'm where this bead is popping out, you see, and now I will go here through this gray one or silver one. Okay, now I have this and if you want you could go one more time around this edge reinforcing it. just like this okay if you want reinforce it one more time okay do this and I'll be back okay guys and I reinforced this part one more time and now I'm exiting here through one of my silvers that are sticking out of this row you see them here one two three four five six seven and I'm going to take three golden beads, just like this, and I'm going through the following silver. Okay. Then what I do is that I take three more goldens and I go through the following silver that is sticking out. Three more. Okay, and I'm going to continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last three beads from this row in my last silver. Okay. Now I have this 
And now guys, I have one more step. I'm going through two golden beads in this direction, just like this. And I'm exiting from the central of these three beads that I added here. Then in my next step, I take just one silver and I go through the following golden. Okay, just like this. Golden that's in the center, the middle one I mean, here. Then I take one more golden and I go here in the center through the middle one. Okay, then another one. And I will continue this until the end of this row. Okay guys, and here I am where I need to connect all of those beads that I added in the center and that are sticking out. Okay, I'm going only through the silver ones that I added last in my last row. Okay, I'm going through them. And after I go through all of them like this, I'm going to pull them to the center. And you see those cute flowers that form here. Okay. Then what I do is that I go just like this. Through all of my beads. And I pull. Pull tight to make a nice and tight casing. Okay, or bezeling. And now guys, you see what I have. I have my rib volley attached here in the center. And what I'm going to do next is go through all of those beads in this direction. And my goal guys is to reach one of those beads that are sticking out. One of the golden beads that are sticking out. And now I'm going to add my crystals, okay? I'm adding here between them those crystals. Okay, and I will continue this until the end of this row and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm almost finishing this row. Okay, like this. And then what I do is my last row, I go through one of my crystals. I take just one seed bead and I go here between my bicons just to make them stay straight and nice and not bent to one side. Okay, this is a really pleasant row, a really pleasant finishing touch like this. Okay, and I'm going to continue this and I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last seed bead from this row. And now you see what I have here. A really beautiful bezeling. And now I'm going to take six silver beads. Okay, I have my six here. And as I'm exiting from this golden, I'm also going through the following golden, just like this. And what I want to do is reinforce this part here because this will be where I'm going to attach my bale.
Okay guys, and here what I want to do is make a knot and cut my thread and I'm doing it by making here a loop going once, going second time through this loop I've made and pull and then I'm going through the following two seed beads and I cut my thread here and now I'm going to show you how to attach your pail. Okay guys, and I'm almost ready here with my work and it's time to show you how to add my bale. Okay, and in order to add it, I open this up with my pliers here. You see, then I put it here inside this loop of beads that I did and then I squeeze and after that you could put this on a chain or on a cord whatever you prefer and now guys my 10 millimeter volley is bezeled and it looks really nice so if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done and you will be able to make beautiful sets for presents or for yourself and you will also be inspired often that is why it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and tell me in the comments do you like this format when I make unboxing videos and after that I make videos that are from the boxes and uh, different uh, designs so do you like it write me down in the comments and you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials please share them on my facebook page that I posted below this video I will be so happy to see your creations down there in description you will find a short clip of this video on my second channel Bijuteo Fast Clips and there you will save time by watching the whole projects in just 2-3 minutes and decide if you feel like making them or not. So follow the link and if you like the idea subscribe there as well. And down there you will also find a full list of materials linked to my store, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye from me.